How is everybody? Good. The snow melted. Richie's only been here a couple of, of weeks, but it seems like he has really established himself as a leader almost. It's, what is it about him that, that, that kind of allows him to just kind of take the bull by the horn, so to speak, and, and, and take on sort of that leadership mantle so quickly? He, Reggie has a lot of experience at all levels high level college football, high level NFL with a bunch of different organizations. And to his credit, he's got an infectious personality. So he, uh, you know, he knows when to focus. He knows when to keep things light. He knows when to say, I don't know that yet, which is powerful because until we play whatever time we kick off, I don't know is an acceptable answer when you get into a new situation. So the first couple of weeks, he did a good job of just repeating the plays to himself. It's all different words. He has not been in this system. So what you have to do a lot, and uh, Tom Rathman, great running backs coach, right? Great player, of course. He used to yell every time, right before the play to the running backs when he coached him, repeat it to yourself. I can still hear it. It's echoing in my brain. But that's what you have to do when you hear new words. So he did that for a couple of weeks, played a couple of plays two weeks ago. Um, and then last week, it really took off for him in practice. So his focus level, his personality, um, he likes contact, which of course is very important playing linebacker. He uses his hands and he can really diagnose the box, the run game. So um, played very solid last week and we expect, you know, two more weeks, one at a time of that. I don't know if we've talked to you since CONA got hurt. Um, what, what kind of year was he having for you guys? And how tough was it to, to see him go down? Oh man, you know, you know we've, we've been able to, Sione's progression uh, since we've been able to work together for these three years is just, I'm so impressed and proud of Sione that I'm, I would talk all day about Sione. So I'm not going to, but I'm going to say just, he played all three positions. He, he put time in at the Mike position even when he wasn't playing there. So then when it was time for him to do that, he was able to get in, make all the calls. He was awesome. All our walkthroughs, he's yelling at the guys, getting them going. I mean, just everything. Just watching his progression as a person and a player grow into who he is was amazing. And he's going to come back from this like he comes back. And, and now he's got all that experience to pull on. So I can't wait to see what's next for Sione. I was going to ask you the same thing about JOK. Um, what kind of progression did you see him make in year two? And where do you think um, he still has kind of room to grow? Well, his last game that he played was his most technical game, least amount of minuses. Uh, the linebackers will tell you that I'm one of, if not the hardest grader, um, because we want it that way. Everything's either a check, right? Means you did your job. Or a plus means you did something great. Okay, but those are hard to get. You can make a play. And then it's a minus. And you know, if you're a little bit off in your gap, that's a minus. So now you can turn minuses into checks and pluses. You could be aligned a little and then go do something great. That works. So, but to answer your question, Jeremiah's most technical game, where he was in the right spot at the right pace, which is one of the things we work with because he's so explosive. If you don't know, don't go anywhere, you know, was the last game. So that's something to build on. Um, with Jeremiah both years, uh, you know, his year, he ended up playing about the same number of snaps. I don't know what they were exactly both years. And for him, he's, he's had little nicks or bigger nicks, you know, injury wise. So in the off season this year, it's going to be building his body to handle the 17 weeks. So I do like where he went by football progression and what he did the last week. Now it's going to be a process of really mastering the off season. Talk about him being in the right spot at, at the right pace. I guess because he's so explosive, like you're talking about, does it like almost have to like think about it or, or rein him in a little bit to kind of maximize that that explosiveness so that he's not too all over the place? I think I think we talked about it a bit in one of the times that I was up here, but it is it's about control, control, and then burst somewhere to make a play when you know. He's so explosive and he's so instinctive that he takes in all the information. He feels everything. He'll say, quarterback, hey, coach, the quarterback moved his left pinky. I'm like, that's nice. The ball wasn't snapped. You know what I mean? Like, he feels it all. And that's what uh, great natural athletes have. So it is that. It's about taking in the information and using it, that one play, to the best of your ability. And he, he focused on it the week before his last game, and he was able to do that. Sometimes you might not be as productive 
But for him, he's so fast that if he's in the right spot, he can catch things and go through things. And he is uh, physical. So, you know, that play timing, he really felt it in the last game. And that's something he can remember and build on. Have to slow a guy down, right? Like have a guy like that and have to slow him down than the other way around, right? Well, I'll transfer that into the guys that are playing right now. The, the, what I've been impressed with is how physical and how direct the group of linebackers has been. I'm, I'm proud, we're proud of them, how they just attack. And we use them all right now. Everybody's getting playing time, and it's awesome to see them. They all got better last week. So I, you're right, and I like where this group is going because they're fixing things with their hands and getting off of blocks. And I did the demo last time I was up here, but, um, you know, because I'll, I'll get into demos. You guys know that. But uh, so, yes, the answer is yes. We'd rather, we'd rather have to slow them down than speed them up. But the guys playing for you now, um, and I don't know if it's four or five guys played last week on defense for you. Like, how do you go, to, how do you go about determining which guys are right for which package? And, like, do you prefer to rotate a bunch of guys? Or and if you had everybody healthy, would it be the same three guys all the time? Well, it just depends on a few things. Uh, there's obviously the ability level. Um, but then there's also if they've trained enough to be in certain situations. Uh, I'll use Malcolm Smith as an example. Malcolm Smith had trained himself so many times he could be in the critical part of the game, even if he didn't play a lot at the beginning of the game, because he had done it over and over and over. So what we're looking for, and I track it, uh, one of the things I spend the most time on daily is, is the exact rotation to get a play. If a player hasn't seen something that we know is going to happen in the game, and I, I spent a lot of time going, okay, Tony Fields hasn't seen this yet. He's going to get this rep. So what I mean by that is then once they've, once they've proven they can, we've seen them do it in practice, then we'll allow them to get into that package or that whatever during the game. Tony's a great example. Um, when Sione moved to Mike, he moved into Sam. And that way it gives him a home first. And then we can expand his reps. And in expanded reps last week, Tony produced. So hopefully he, he, he can stay, not hopefully, we want him to stay on that progression and keep making plays. So that's how we determine it. Does that make sense? So it's, it's giving them the reps in practice, seeing their level of mastery, and then moving them into those positions. So like, for example, Jordan's played all three positions for us. Uh, JC is getting more and more and more reps, and he got way better with his hands and shedding blocks last week. So he'll see more of those situational times. Uh, Reggie's good in the box you know, and feeling run plays. So he'll do some of that. De uh, Debo has been, he's so quick and he's good in space. So he'll, we'll use him in certain of those things. I'm not going to say everything we're going to use him to, but you know, that I'm speaking of the player's strengths and how we want to maximize their strengths. Coach Walsh, the first rule that he taught me was know your personnel and use your personnel. Okay. He, he said that a lot when he was training us as young coaches and young players. And so we want them to be, we want all of them to be successful the best they can be. So we got to know what they can do and then use them in those situations. And then as they grow in more situations, then they can have those too. Jermaine a little bit there. He's one that I don't think a lot of people are familiar with, you know, because Tony's made a couple of plays and, and Jordan's, you know, done the same and, and, and Reggie and Dion are obviously established, but what, talk a little more about him and just the player he is and, and what, what is it about his game that you guys specifically like? He is very focused, very determined, and he loves contact and being in the right spot. So we've seen him grow since he's been here. Um, this is a, actually a cool game for him because he played at Maryland and he's going home, close to home. So that's pretty cool. So we're excited for him to, to be able to do that. He's been able to share some insight on our opponent this week. Um, but his progression has just gotten better and better in the system. He's played a lot of football. He played a ton of football the last couple of years. And so he's got good recall. And so what he's gotten better at is just our system of getting off of blocks and getting vertical and playing with length in his hands. And it's just improved weekly. So uh, just impressed with that. And he'll keep getting more reps. He's in the rotation and rolling in and, and striking things, and he was in the right spot fit-wise the whole game last week.